We begin our quest with Valerie Andrews in the 1970s. She was a researcher for Time magazine, but dissatisfied with a life that didn't seem to offer enough. She caught a glimpse of the meaning she sought in a great storm at sea. Her encounter with nature mysticism led her to search for its meaning since. Nothing was really happening until I found myself on this boat in the middle of a storm. It was a very violent storm. The, the winds were severe, and, and the boat really should have been in port. And everybody was huddled, huddled below, and all of a sudden, the, the boat was healing as, as though we were going to capsize. And then being a sailor, I instinctively went to the midpoint and the highest point on the boat and lashed myself to the deck beneath the mast. And I, I did not know what I was doing. I realized that I had lashed myself in the shape of a cross. And it felt as though all the elements in the midst of the storm were passing through my body and anchoring me there to that spot. And I said to myself, my God, this is, this is what it means to be at the center of your own universe. My life started passing before me. Um, not, not so much as it would if I were about to drown, but there was definitely an element of, of life and death and, and fear that brought everything in, in sort of vast, vast motion. And I was aware of, I think, the goodness in my life and the darkness in my life, um, of the times when I had gone into the depths and the times when I had gone to the heights. And I, I felt as though my body were this meeting point a good and evil, light and dark, masculine and feminine spirit and body. When we pulled into port after the storm had subsided, um, I was considerably changed both on the outside and the in. Um, physically, I was encrusted with layers of salt. I felt as though the Aegean had been washing over me for centuries. Um, I looked like a wild woman. My hair was just out and all over the place, and, and I was visibly shaken uh, to the point where I climbed a hilltop where I usually met a driver who would take me back to my bungalow on a very calm beach. And he drove by me twice and did not recognize me. When I got back to my room, I had a, a dream that was really, for me, a continuation of the striking experience that I had on the boat. And in the dream, I was wounded. And a voice said to me, it's not enough just to heal yourself. You will be wounded again and again unless you learn to be transformed. And I think that's more or less where all of us are with our spiritual wounds and our emotional wounds. It, uh, the same pattern behavior will come right back again. The same wound will come right back again unless we have a spiritual experience or a mystical experience to give us hope that we can be transformed.